Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sub dash grab talk. <clears throat> Oops. This mode allows you to modify the game's rules to fit your specific needs. Includes options such as slowing the game speed, granting yourself invincibility or infinite stamina, and skipping chapters entirely. Celeste is intended to be a challenging and rewarding experience. If the default game proves inaccessible to you, we hope that you can still find that experience with the sys mode. That's awesome. I'm going to play with it on. But obviously I'm not going to use them unless I feel like, man, I can't enjoy the game without them. <clears throat> Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? Let me turn the game up a little. You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. <laughs> if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. I died already. Ah! 
you can do this. I don't know about that. So that's the prologue. This is the next place. Forsaken City, Chapter 1. Climb. At any time to take a break. You'll resume from the same screen and you won't lose any progress. Awesome. What does this say? Oops! Wrong button. I like that you restart, like, literally right away. Like, if you die, you immediately restart. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to turn it down because it's super loud for me. Super mega loud for me. Okay. Hopefully it's quieter. I mean, hopefully it's not quieter for you guys. Okay. I suck. This is sad. Did I get it? I don't know. Oops. I should have listened to that old lady. She was right. Holy shit. Okay. It's fast. Where'd it go? The soundtrack is oops, really nice. Fuck. I must have ran out of energy or something. I really have to get used to these controls. Um, I'm not a good platform gamer. In the slightest, I suck at platform games. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm so sorry to anybody who's fucking watching this and doing this to themselves. I like that you have unlimited lives. And it instantly restarts. Oh my god. That is fucking 
Beautiful. Oh, I want to get that thing over there. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Fuck. Fuck. I don't even know how to get over there. Ah! Uh, damn it! <laughs> oh shit. Fuck an A. Damn! <laughs> okay. I can do it. It's just gonna take me some time. Wait, did I get it? No, I didn't get the strawberry. Hey, I thought I got that. That's not nice. <gasps> Wait, I touched the spike. Okay, so I can touch the spike, but I it's like a half a second or something. Because I touched it and I bounced, she bounced off of it. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to do it again. What? Girl! Fuck. Fuck! I know I'm not like a ma- I know I didn't fucking imagine it. Imagine that. She touched that shit. Girl, I know that you did. Fucking A. Hmm. Holy shit! What was that? She like launched over there. <gasps> I don't know how I just did that. But wait. Hey, wait a, wait a second. What was that? Oh, okay. Ho there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kind of can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. Whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type, I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. Hey, sorry, I'm Bree. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Bree, I'd say you've come to the right place. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place to be for some quiet reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far-off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical, exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? I read that some mega corporation started building it, but then no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. My money's on a government cover-up. What a waste to build all this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. Are you here to explore this city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places. And I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh, really? Cool. Do you have a blog or something? A blog? Bree. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo under stars. Look me up. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope. I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you could make it to the summit too. 
maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top, to be honest. Oh, but I heard there are some legit old ruins up beyond the city. Like, 1800s legit. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. What's up, Kame? What's that thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw a caution to the wind? No, that's not it. Oh, right. I am fucking dead. So this is dash, and this is dash. This is jump, and this is jump. Okay, bye Theo. Nice meeting you. Whoops. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting fuck how the fuck embarrassing Look, she touched it again. Hmm. How the fuck? I just don't know. Oops. Fucking A. Okay, so I need to like go up here and then jump further up. And then over. This is hard. Oh! No! <laughs> I don't know how I did that. But I did it. And I fucked it up. I don't think I'm using all of the controls. I think is kind of the issue. Even though there's only like two. There's like combinations. And I don't think I'm utilizing those properly. Literally, the only way that I pass this shit is on accident. And that's fucking sad. Her hair changes colors. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so sad. I literally had it. And I did it on accident. 
which means that I will never be able to do it again. Unless it's on accident. Tragic. No, stop, stop! It's like when you're on a wall, you try to have her jump straight up, but she bounces off the wall. What the fuck? She just bounced off the fucking spikes. Hello? Sis. Oh my god. Okay. I literally am not going to be able to do that again. And I did it on fucking accident. That's incredible. Please shoot me. Oh my god, I did it. Did I get it? Yay, I did it. Finally. I don't know how I did it, to be honest. I literally have no idea. So there's that. What is that green thing for? Maybe you only have a certain amount of time before you can pick that up and go to the exit. I don't know. Fuck. What? No! You evil man. Nobody watch this. Just don't do this to yourself. Just don't even do it to yourself. Hello? She didn't fucking, <laughs> please. Fucking gnats in my face, great. I love life, I love being alive. Ho. help me. Backseaters welcome. Please. Okay, I got it. I don't know how I did that. Maybe she can jump off that? Ow! I don't know. Maybe that can be used as a double jump? I don't know. Jesus Christ.
Are you... Something ready? Are you beach ready? Oops. What's up, Alira? How are you? No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Please. Fuck. No! Fucking A. I'm doing work. Oh, God. Well, welcome to my stream. I've never played this game before. I suck at puzzle platformers. I suck at puzzles. I suck at platformers. I'm not used to using a controller because I always use mouse and keyboard for games. I suck at this. So, yeah. Aubrey insists in playing games that will piss her off the most. No, that's not true. I've heard nothing but good things about this game. That's why I'm playing it. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Also, Game Maker's Toolkit made a, made a video about this game. And I really want to watch their video. But I don't want it to, like, spoil the game for me. So, I'm playing the game first. You use keyboard for this game and it works just fine for you? Oh, okay. I didn't know you could use keyboard. I just thought you had to use controller. I don't know if controller would help me much. I mean, keyboard. I don't think I can use... Oh. Oh, you have to use arrow keys. What the fuck? That's weird. Um, actually, damn it, it won't let me use my mouse buttons. That's, that's evil. That is evil. Hmm. Hmm. That's evil. It won't let me use my mouse buttons. Oof. I'm trying to see which options or which um would be easier for me. Is 
I'm gonna use mouths. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. What's up, Sasha? How are you? <laughs> How are you doing today? Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Bitch, the fuck? This is so sad. I don't even think I'm making more progress with the fucking keyboard. What the fuck was that? Okay, the problem with this is I literally just don't know what I'm pressing. Like, I feel like this game has literally, like, hidden controls. Like, I just double jumped. How the fuck did I do that? Like, there's little secrets about the movements with this game, and I just am discovering them on accident, and then I don't know how to do them again. To be trying new controls. Well, I mean, it's just, it's literally going to be like this, whether it's keyboard or mouse, or keyboard or a controller. Headbutt the keyboard. Thanks, that's very helpful. Good advice. What's up, rat? How are you? And, like, she'll, she'll touch the fucking spikes and bounce off of them and I haven't been able like what the fuck was that oh it's frustrating do you want me to look them up no what's up mofu I'm gonna go back to keyboard, cause at least with or controller, cause at least with controller I feel like I have more like control. I have a good stream. Somebody say thanks to Kevin. <clears throat> Please. Thank you. I hate how when you're on a ledge and you jump off, like in any, I feel like in any other platformer I've played, she would jump up, but she like jumps away and that fucks me up. Fuck. 
Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I mean, she jumps away if you're on a wall, yeah. And I'm not used to that. Because normally, like, if you're on a wall, you're hugging a wall. When you jump, like, they just jump up, but she'll jump away. If you hold and grab, she jumps straight up. Okay, I have to remember to hold. Fucking A. You speedrunner now? That's not funny. That's not a funny joke. <laughs> What's up, Black and Mild? How are you? Um, and about what you were saying earlier, there are a lot of movement tricks in this game. They're easy to do by accident, but you don't need to know how to do any of them to complete the game. Okay, so there are movement tricks. What's up, 12 Hi, how are you? I'm great. That's good. I'm glad that you're great. What the fuck? It's so funny because I've heard like nothing but good things about this game and people saying how much of a relaxing experience it is. And I'm just like, wow, I really got trolled. Like I'm a fucking idiot. Like, I really got fucking trolled. Relaxing my literal dick off. Maybe they were just talking about the soundtrack. I have no idea. People on the internet. What the fuck? Strawberries are optional. I didn't know games could just leave Game Pass. Oh shit, what left? Surge and Tyranny? Oh shit. I wonder why. There's gotta be a safer way to get produce. That's weird. Tyranny is pretty neat, what a shame. Yeah. I wanted to play Tyranny. But I think, I think Chris got, um, is he his Twitch Prime or some shit? I think Tyranny is one of the games that they gave away for that. 
Also, Tyranny was in a Humble Bundle not too long ago for super cheap. There's been so many times where I could have played Tyranny, and I just didn't, because I wasn't really in the mood for a game like that at the time that I could have played it. It's on Origin Access. I need to play, I need to pick up Origin Access for a few games. I, want, I really want to play Sea of Darkness. Um, and the Saboteur. That's a fucking good ass game. I should really be playing games on PlayStation now. I have PlayStation now until January something. But honestly, I should have just bought the one month of PlayStation now. Because I didn't realize it was like a streaming service and it fucking sucks. It's so fucking awful. It literally sucks. Like, I think I'd rather buy a console, buy the game, buy a fucking thing so that I can record my console gameplay. And play games that way, then play them through PlayStation now. It's so fucking bad. Like, wow. The game looks like shit. It plays like shit. It kicks you off if your internet isn't good. It's... If... Like... If you don't have a PlayStation, like, a PlayStation fucking DualShock controller or whatever, and all you have is a controller... Like, you need a controller because they're not, they're not ports. They don't work with keyboard. But if you want to play, like, a PlayStation 4 game that requires the pad. Or something like Until Dawn. Where you need to, like, hold it still. You have to download, oh my god, it's just like, I don't even want to think about it. It's such a pain in the fucking ass. It's so garbage. It's so fucking bad. Filtered through, I know, right? It's so, it's like laughable. I just bought Outer Worlds on EGS. Feel like it didn't quite match up to the price of the game. Really? I fucking loved Outer Worlds. I'm like suffering Outer Worlds fucking withdrawals right now. That's like all I want to play. I'm obsessed with it. I liked it, but also felt it was a bit lacking. I think it was lacking in... Like, okay, let's face it. The whole game, you're basically fighting three different enemies, or four different enemies, right? You fight the dogs, you fight marauders, you fight those primal things, and then, what's the other thing you fight? Those lizard things, right? There's like four different types of enemy types. Um, and a lot of the buildings and stuff or like cookie cutter they basically had to use reuse a lot of resources I mean that much is obvious so it would have been nice if there was more variety I agree with that because it can get tired to like just see and fight the same shit Never really interactable in the game. Yeah, that was kind of annoying. But to be fair, um, to be fair, they were never like Tim and Leonard were like in an interview or something, and they said that the amount of planets that you would be able to interact with, or the amount of planets you would be able to go to, were two. And the two planets they were talking about was. Um, the Emerald Vale one, 
and uh, Celestia. And then the rest of the places, like Groundbreaker, is a market. That's not like a planet. It's it's just a market. And then Scylla is a moon. You know what I mean? So they weren't. They didn't like lie about how much or what kind of places you would be able to explore. They only said two. <clears throat> Yeah, but if you read, like, also, if you read, like, the descriptions for those, like, other places, it tells you, like, why you can't go on there. It'll be like, yeah, the temperature is fucked up and you can't inhabit it. So it, like, shows you or it'll, like, tell you why you can't. But I get it. I, I don't really think that they should have been there if you couldn't go to them. Wait, when did they say that they're planning DLC? What's up, Taz? I would love DLC. But I don't know if we'll actually get it. Because where is the DLC still going to be underneath private dis division? Or is it going to be Microsoft? Fuck. But I will wait until it's not exclusive to Epic. It's on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> Didn't they just get bought by Microsoft? Yes. Why? Why? Why are you like this? They'd be silly not to make DLC. Well, absolutely, because they'd make money off of it, and that's what Microsoft cares about, is making money. I can't just go straight up, like, really? Don't have Windows 10? Oof. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Finally! Been buying up all the third parties specifically for that reason. Yeah. It's cool though because they'll go like... It's about consistency. I mean it all boils down to money at the end of the day. But Microsoft wants companies that are gonna make money but are also gonna bring I think something something new or something consistent to the table so I'm glad that they're kind of scooping up these companies that are passionate I hope that they can continue to give them the resources that they deserve without meddling too much in what the companies do specifically you know what I mean I have very little confidence in micro squish. Okay. I have dealt with them for many years. Okay. Well, here's the thing. They have a lot of fucking money. They have fuck you, everyone, money. Um. And I'm not... Like, I understand why people are, like, hesitant. But I'm the type of person where... I understand why I understand why companies are getting bought out like I understand why there are Xbox exclusives or why there are like Microsoft exclusives or epic exclusives like I understand it's because they need more money than they have you know what I mean so I'm not gonna be like fuck you to a company that literally just wants more money so that they can make their thing. Excuse me. 
But I get I get annoyed when something is like I get annoyed when something Southern Barbie, thank you for following. I get annoyed when somebody like a company has an audience on a specific platform and then they say fuck you to their audience and they go to another exclusive. You know what I mean? Like that's shitty. Like imagine if Red Dead Redemption 2 was only on PC. That would be shitty because it's like your audience is on fucking console. You're alienating all of the people who allowed you to make a second game by saying that it's only available on PC. Like I was complaining about earlier, um, there's a game called Oceanhorn 2, which, or, or Oceanhorn, which I streamed on my channel two years ago, and it was on Steam. Um, Ocean, I just found out Oceanhorn 2 is a thing. It's already out, but it's not on Steam. It's not on Epic. It's not on Microsoft. It's nowhere to be found except for Apple. It's an Apple exclusive. So if you want to play Oceanhorn 2, you have to buy an Apple product, which I thought was absolutely fucking bananas. Like, how can you actually... Like, I would rather have a fucking Microsoft exclusive or a epic ex exclusive like i would rather have these exclusives fine you don't want to put it on steam i get that you need more money i get that but an apple exclusive i didn't even realize apple had their own platform until i looked up oceanhorn 2. their platform like was created like a month ago not even a month ago i think it was september 17th in order to play oceanhorn 2 you need either an iphone like a tablet or a Mac and I'm sitting there thinking wow like how much money could they have given you that is worth completely a whole fucking five people playing your game like I was really shook holy shit okay I was not expecting that like that's so shitty to me like okay we want to put our our games on different platforms, different DRMs, whatever. It's a pain in the ass, right? Everybody would like their sa everybody would like their game to be in their same library. I get that. I'm totally like you guys have seen how much games I have on Steam, but the truth is that's not what's best for everyone, especially with Steam taking the chunk that they would take out of it. Like plus they need more funding. It's fine. I understand. I'm okay with Epic. I'm okay with like having it on other platforms it's a pain in the ass but i understand and it's like an evil that you just have to put up with but apple apple that means i can't play it on my computer i have to buy an apple product like are you out of your mind are you out of your fucking mind and now there's gonna be stadia exclusives like okay great I didn't want to play your fucking game anyway. Stadia. Like a streaming service? Like, are we, is this is this really what we're doing now? Tequila Works. They're working on Guilt. I think it's called Guilt. G-Y-L-T. It's like this cool, like, stealth horror adventure game about this little girl who goes to this spooky fucking, like, she goes back to her school, her elementary school or some shit, and it's, like, haunted. I don't know. It looks really fucking cool. And then you realize, oh, yeah, it's a Stadia exclusive. And I'm sitting there thinking, Tequila Works has literally published, like, almost all of their other games on other con or other DRMs. Like, they've been on PC, they've been on PS4, Xbox One, they've been on Nintendo Switch, whatever. Then they get to Guilt, and they're, like, Stadia. And I look on their fucking Twitter and it says, we think it's important to give people options. And I'm sitting there like, what are our options? It's literally only on Stadia. Like, how is that giving players options? I don't get it. Like, you're out of your mind if you think I'm gonna fucking put any type of money towards a streaming service like sorry sorry you are out of your fucking rabbit ass Ooh. mind 
You have the option to get Stadia or get lost. Spacer's choice. It's not the best choice. It's the only one. Fuck. Now, you've had the best, now try the rest. Right? Holy fuck. Fucking A. So she has to land before she can dash again. Fuck! You little bitch. Come back! No! <clears throat> Please stop it. What the fuck is Ouya? Why do I feel like I have heard that before? Really? Finally. It's not even that hard, I just suck! Ain't that the truth? Fuck. What the fuck is an Ouya? You bitch! You little, you little, you little son of a gun. Yay, I did it. Oops. Okay, I'm not doing this right. on chat <laughs> you had two choices you either get the game or you don't um jet set willy willy really is a funny word our internet is too shit yo <laughs> facts uh Sundered? What is Sundered? Oh, 
Also, Mofu, I don't know if I asked you when you came in, but how are you? How you doing? Fuck. Made Jut- Jut- Jotun? Jutun? No, I have not played Jutun either, even though I should have played it, because it's- I played that- or er, I think I started to play that, like, forever ago. I feel like there's something up there. And I want to know what it is. Fuck. Can I get up there? Like, where that guy's face is, can I get up there? It looks like that might move. Whatever. Hello? Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Never played it. I played it for 20 minutes. I think I played Jutton. God. Jutton must have been free. Or I think I played it from a family share for like literally like three minutes. I think I played it and I was like, this is boring. Um, but that was a couple years ago. I think it. W I think it's one of those games where it seems kind of slow at first, and there's like narration, and I just like was not in the mood for that at the time I had played it. Jutton, Jotun, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, there's a game that's coming out on Epic soon. It's called Yaga. It looks pretty interesting. It kind of reminds me of like Smoke and Sacrifice, which is a game that I didn't play for very long on my channel. Because, I don't know, I got annoyed. Um, no, I didn't. I could have taken it today, but honestly, I just didn't want to. <laughs> Good enough reason, I know. What's up, Norm? Is it called Yot Yotun? Is that what that's fucking called? Whatever, Jotun. That's better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna remember. You did ask me, but I didn't answer. Oh, okay. It's fine. What about Hollow Knight? Oh, God. I actually have that installed right now because it's on Xbox Game Pass. But, um... I don't know if I'd like Hollow Knight. Oh, I thought I could... What do those things do? Fuck! Oh my god, who is she? Oh my god, who is she? Oh. Door kickers is too repetitive. Wait, wait, wait. At least let me look at the recommendation first. <laughs> you guys never give me recommendations. Like, ever. Innovative real-time strategy. Okay, wait a second. Game okay, might have been on to something. Phoenix Point? I think I know what that is. Hollow Knight... I don't know, I could try that, but I'm not a huge fan of Metroidvania games. I'm really not. Metroidvania games are not the move. I think there's definitely some exceptions. Like, I'd play Bloodstained, which is also on Xbox Game Pass. Um, but that's because that's, like, exploration-based. Um, so I think I'd enjoy it. Hollow Knight seems cool, but... 
it isn't that game like known to being really challenging i don't know if i'm i might be too casual for that to be honest <clears throat> door kickers looks cool but it might be a little bit too strategic for me a little bit too like involved does that make sense I normally stray away from games like door kickers because they're really overwhelming it says innovative real-time strategy game that puts you in charge of a SWAT team and lets you command them during a tactical intervention yeah that sounds and I'm looking at the screenshots and I'm very overwhelmed um sundered eldritch edition that means it's lovecraft um sun sunder doesn't look like something that i would want to play either metroid chaotic hand-drawn metroidvania chaotic okay no guys i'm a casual gamer this shit stresses me out like i'm i'm glad that you enjoy it but it stresses me out okay i have irregular heartbeat okay please please um there's a game called uh what what was i just thinking of when you guys mentioned sundered Oh, I can't remember it now. Great. <clears throat> this stream sponsored by Xbox. Honestly, I should be sponsored by Xbox. I always plug Game Pass. But to be like to be fair, there's like a hundred games on Game Pass, right? And you could get it for a dollar. Okay, so that's why I plug it. Not because I suck Microsoft's dick. But because there are a lot of really fucking good games on there. That you can get for cheap. Guys, you know I'm broke. Blasphemous. That's what I was thinking of. I think I could handle, and by handle I mean not get too stressed out about Blasphemous. But, um... That's still a metroidvania. That's the type of game where, like, you die and you lose all your fucking souls. That shit makes me want to die inside. Like, I understand the appeal of it, but it... Because it's, like, supposed to be, like, oh, it's challenging. If you die, then you have to go back and fight everything again and get your shit. Wow, isn't this so much fun? Getting punished? Isn't this a blast? <laughs> Guys... Isn't this just the best? Blasphemous looks cool. I like the dark fantasy. I like the art style and the creature design and everything like that. Um, I was watching Moblin. Let me shout him out. Play some of this. Um, but I don't know. Games like that really stress me out. And like, like I said, I like to explore and I like to just have a good time and I don't really like the thought like I don't mind dying in a game but in a game where like you lose all your shit when you die I'm just like what the fuck and you want me to play you like that's supposed to make me want to play you <clears throat> you'd like remnant that's not funny just I'm gonna delete that message right now deleted cancelled <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be moving to mixer. Wave goodbye. Um, no. Skip Hollow Knight, but absolutely do check out the soundtrack. Gotcha. I don't mind challenging games. Um, I just have to be in the mood for them. That's the Norse, Dutch, German. That's, is that three different, wait, is that two different, listen, I'm ignorant. And not ignorant in that, in the fact that I don't want to learn, but ignorant in the fact that I'm stupid and I just don't know anything. My friend Pedro, um, I don't know, that's kind of, I could try that. I don't think that would be ridiculous. 
But I think I games like that, like games like this, Celeste, Hollow Knight, Blasphemous, uh, my friend Pedro. I think those are games that I would play like in short bursts. I don't think they are games that I really would pick up and then play for an entire stream. Like they're games that I would play for like an hour and then put down and play something else. You know what I mean? Try Fossil Hunters. I already played Fossil Hunters. I played that game to completion. I loved it. It was really fun. How about Red Dead Redemption 2? Have you played it on PS4? No, I have not. I know it's on Steam now. It's on Epic. I could buy it. But I'm really worried about Red Dead 2. I'm afraid that I'm not going to like it as much as everyone and their mom is hyping it up to be. Like, everyone, everyone that I've seen, like, talk about Red Dead 2, they've been like, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Like, on Twitter... There are people saying it was a masterpiece and I was like, can you explain what makes this game a masterpiece? And this dude just, he was just like, play it. Just play it. Just take your time and play it. And you'll think at least, you'll at least think it's a 9 out of 10. And I'm like, sitting there, like, I literally, like, okay. There are people who will go out of their way to say Red Dead 2 is a masterpiece. And then you ask them what makes it a masterpiece. And they just say, well, just play the game and you'll find out, like. I'm like, what? Can you just tell me? And he's like, I can't really explain it without spoilers. And I'm sitting there thinking like, what the fuck? Literally, what the fuck? Like, so you're just saying it's a masterpiece. Also, a 9 out of 10 isn't a masterpiece. Like, a masterpiece is a 10 out of 10. But, you know, that just makes sense. Um, literally, every game that I like that like I love that would be like in a top 10 I can explain to you why I enjoyed it or why I thought it was worthy of being in my top 10 without spoiling it without even coming near or close to spoiling it because there are so many things that go into whether or not a game is quality like if it's just the story that's great but then that means like I could just watch the movie Red Dead 2 movie on YouTube I wouldn't have to spend $60 in my time when I could just watch a three-hour movie or whatever if it's the story you know what I mean like story characters soundtrack sound design because that's different from soundtrack and music game mechanics combat I think I said characters already exploration fun factor is it fun to play i want to play our our red dead 2 but i'm just like that's 60 bucks okay i have to be sure that those 60 bucks are gonna be worth or well spent on red dead and i can't promise myself that they will be and you said it's a PC killer, so I'm definitely going to have to get my computer fixed before I play it. Which I don't mind. I literally just have to take my computer to the store. And then fork over the cash. Like, there's nothing getting in my way. I just didn't feel like doing it, to be honest. Because, <laughs> like, okay. Basically... I just have to take it there and then I'll be without my computer for like a day or whatever and I'm just like what the fuck am I gonna do in the meantime <laughs> depressing um disco Elysium yeah that looks really fucking good I want to play that but that's 40 bucks everything is just costing so much money okay and we're broke remember so like that is really important disco elysium looks super fucking cool though it seems like mostly eye candy with lots of stuff to do but just missing something yeah red dead 2 seems i don't know i loved red dead redemption 1 like that's one of my favorite for a while i called red dead redemption 1 my favorite game like ever like ever I don't know if I would still consider it my favorite game but for a couple years there it was my favorite and I loved it and I loved it so much 
but this isn't Red Dead 1. Like, if this, okay, if they had ported Red Dead 1, I would be playing it right now. Even if it was a $60 fucking game, I would be playing it because I know that I love that game. But they didn't port the good one. They ported the one I don't know whether or not I'm going to like. So, <laughs> that's why I haven't bought it. For fucking 60 bucks. I don't know. It's a prequel. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, It seems like one of those games that... I mean, okay, here's the thing. When I think about Red Dead... I think about, okay, you're riding a horse and you're shooting shit. Right? You're either shooting other cowboys or you're shooting fucking deer and wildcat and shit like that. I literally can't think of anything else to do in that game besides shoot shit. Or what? Play poker? Play fucking poker? Like, I literally can't think of anything else to do in Red Dead. You know what I mean? Like, what else do you do in the game? I can't think of anything. Whereas, like, okay, in the Outer Worlds, I guess you could make that argument for any other game, right? So let's say the Outer Worlds. Yes, I'm using it as an example. In the Outer Worlds, yeah, you shoot shit. But you can, like, you can use melee weapons that do different types of damage. You can use guns that do different types of damage. You can explore. There's no, like, okay, Red Dead, right? Rockstar just has you on a leash. It's just like, go here. Do this. Ride to the mission location. Do the mission. If you do the mission any other fucking way than how we want you to, mission failed. If you try to be creative, mission failed. We want you to do it this specific way. Okay, mission complete. Here's your fucking wad of cash. Go to the other fucking mission place. Go do that mission. JK, you can't do it your own way. You have to do it this way. And that's not a bad thing. But, like, I've been spoiled recently with games that allow me to play how I want. So, of course, I'm going to prefer that. Like, there's nothing wrong with, like, a linear story game. But that is absolutely, like the thing that kind of kills the experience for me because you you guys know how I like to play games I prefer to explore things at my own leisure and go about things in the order that I want and when you have Rockstar just fucking put you on a leash and says all right we're gonna go over to this one and you're gonna do this one like I can't think of anything else to do in Red Dead whereas the Outer Worlds you can explore where you want you can talk to your companions, you can do their quests. You can literally just go off into the fucking, you could go to another planet, they're literally telling you, hey, you shouldn't go there. You're gonna die, it's too, too much of a risk. It's too difficult. You go there because you want the challenge. Rockstar probably is like, yeah, you can't go over there because you're not ready for it and they don't even give you the opportunity to go over there. They treat you like a dumb little fucking baby. Steam sales coming soon? What do you mean? Oh, you mean December. I will not be spending any money December. That's tragic. I should save up like a hundred or something so I can pick up a bunch of games. But honestly, there's no point. They're just going to sit in my fucking library with the rest of them. Whenever a game has too elaborate of animations, it looks great, but it feels like it's taking away some control, if that makes sense. I find it, find it anti-immersive. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I saw that there's, like, literally animations for everything. But it's weird because, like, okay, there's animations for everything, but when I think about other games that are kind of similar to Red Dead, I think of Breath of the Wild, right? You can't have a fire in Breath of the Wild if it's raining, right? Because that makes sense. How would you be able to have a fire when it's raining? The rain would just put the, the water would just put the fire out. But in Red Dead, if you go to have a camp, right? They just, 
you can't like place a camp anywhere you, they just like teleport you to a spot where you could have a camp and then you can still have your camp even in the rain so it's like you're going through all these different things and have all these different animations to make the game super immersive but my campfire uh water is supposed to douse fire rockstar i don't really know if you knew that just play fallout I could go back to New Vegas, honestly. Did you ever play Kingdom Come? I have. I played a little bit of Kingdom Come. I didn't get that far into it. But I could play that. But I would want to play that with mods. I was looking into playing Subnautica. I modded Subnautica. And then for some reason Epic launched. Or Epic, because I'm playing it from Epic, right? Um, Epic updated and now <laughs> Subnautica is vanilla again even though I installed all these mods it's vanilla I don't know what happened dude I'll be right back You just started replaying New Vegas. Are you playing it modded? Mod tools were just introduced to Kingdom Come not too long ago. Fucking cog. Cause yeah, the game had modding. But I didn't realize that they introduced mod tools. That's cool. Where is my controller? Okay, here it is. Gotta mod it, right? Gotta mod fucking everything, because I'm a maniac. You cunt. Where the fuck? Jesus. Jesus. Fuck you. What did you think of Greedfall if you tried it? Oh. If I tried it. Oh. Oh boy. If I tried it. What did I think of Greedfall? Hmm. A lot of things. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Um. Ooh, I should do that. What the fuck? I should do that. Excuse me. (laughs) 
After I finish Battle Chasers? Oh, shit. Yeah, I should still- I should get back to Battle Chasers. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Cute. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> In the Valley of Gods? Yeah. That's cute. Twenty. Oh my god. I died 343 times. Oof. Oof. That hits. That hits. Damn. I died 300. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, I want to play in the Valley of Gods too. How about we, um, I'm going to stop playing Celeste right now. I think ending at the end of the chapter would be a good spot to end but I'm liking that I I don't know it's frustrating but eventually after like a hundred deaths on a single stage I kind of get the hang of it <laughs>